Okay, so what we are going to show you today is how to use this cube uh, to solve the anisotropic uh, etching problem. And uh, you may use it in the homework and uh, also in the midterm too. Okay, so let's start from a very simple uh, problem okay, uh, in your homework. So first, let's say you have a wafer. You have a wafer and a second wafer, single crystal wafer. And when you bind the wafer, you know that it has a flat here, okay? Flat in this corner. And you are told that, okay, this direction is 110, okay? And it's a 100, uh, it's, a, it's a 100 wafer, okay? So, <clears throat> 1-0 wafer with 1-1-0 uh, align in that is that that means that you can you can actually find out what's the orientation of the crystal structure here okay so if it's 1-0 wafer it means that in the direction that is perpendicular to the wafer is 1-0-0 okay so you put this 1-0 align with this and you have 1-1-0 direction in that direction so that means that uh, the yellow color is 110, right? So you kind of rotate your cube like this, right? So this is your crystal orientation, right? And pay attention to your 111 direction. Your 111 direction, you have A111 direction. One is, is tilted 4 here, and the other 4 is on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? So let's say if I give you um, a problem like, okay, just like in the homework, uh, you have silicon nitride and you open a rectangular uh, window for etching. That means uh, all the other area is protected by this uh, silicon nitride, okay? That means that when you put this wafer in the KO edge, only the middle part will be etched, all right? So now I want to know <coughs> if I create a window like this and uh, what kind of etching profile I'm going to have, all right? So the first thing you do is, again, you need to find your crystal orientation first, uh, just the same thing we do, okay? So you have one all the way for a line and also this yellow is one, one, one aligned to that direction, all right? So after this, you start to find, okay, where's my one, one, one? So you have four, right? Because you are looking down from the wafer, so you don't see the one, one, one in the, the other direction. You only, when you look down, you only see these four, one, two, three, and four here. Look at the location of the blue color, right? So you can see these, uh, these four, one, 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 they are actually uh, starting in parallel to this uh, one, one, one direction, okay? So when you start to put this into, uh, KL edge solution, you will start to see this uh, 4111 direction come out starting from the edge and with an angle like with a transient profile like this, something like this. All right, okay, so these are the 4111, 111, 1 and 111 you have. All right. And in the middle, you're still looking at this 100, all right? So if you keep putting in the solution, this will just continue to proceed. Continue to proceed. And because this is a rectangular structure, so it will continue and finally, eventually, form a pyramid shape, okay? So this is the, uh, this, uh, the simplest case, and it's also the case uh, that you guys have in the, uh, Homo, all right? So let's show you another case, uh, which is, again, you're still having this uh, square opening. You're still having this square opening, all right? Square opening. And the difference is that instead of using 110, I'm making this direction as 100, okay? So with 100 open uh, direction in that uh, flat, what kind of final pattern I'm going to generate with the same square opening, okay? 
Again, this is 1 0 away first, so you align 1 0 0, so that 1 0 0 surface perpendicular to the, uh, the surface, right? Now you need to align 1 0 0 direction in that. So where is 1 0 0? 1 0 is this uh, uh, transparent, uh, transparent uh, color, right? So it's aligned like this, okay? So after you align, okay, now find where the 1 1 1 direction is, okay? So before it was like this, right? And now it was like this. So you can see this four one 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 direction is kind of in a parallel to this four direction, right? So you look at this one, two, three, four, but look at the other side, okay? So you actually have four one 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 direction. Alright? So what's going to happen is that when you put this uh, into KL edge, you will start to edge, this will start to be undercut. Look, where is the direction? So this is 100 and uh, this is 111. So this is 100 direction, right? 100 direction will still be edge. So you'll start to see this, uh, one, this undercut coming from here, from here, and from here, and from here. What about here? Because when you start to edge, you will immediately immediately see this one 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 plan. So this one won't proceed. So this one will continue to edge and stop here, stop here, stop here. You will continue to edge. So eventually, you are getting a square. You are etching final cross section. You are having a bigger, bigger square deep. Okay, and again, you will still because the square you are you are having this kind of uh, cross section coming out here. Right, so this is uh, when you have different alignment. So isn't it one one zero the direction on the right side? I know that's the previous case. Oh yeah. Now the second case, I say same as with the yeah, So the same direction. opening, but it, let's say this direction yeah. become one zero zero, and what's going to happen? All right. So I'm going to talk about the third case. Okay, the third case. Third case is, uh, you have different. You have different. You have different opening. Let's say go back to one 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 again, one one zero oh again, one one zero oh again. Okay, and you're still having a square opening, but now uh, you're having two uh, square that is positioned very closely, and both of them are square. Okay. So in this case, what kind of final pattern you are going to have? So because in this case it's 100, right? So you know every square you are going to generate a pattern like this, right? So you, are, you don't have any undercut outside your opening. Okay, so you will have two, uh, let's say this is not finished yet. If you finish, it will be just, just a pyramid shape, okay? So that's uh, when you have two opening or multiple opening and align it with one one zero. Now, let's change it to another case, which is which is one zero zero again. One zero zero again. One zero zero again. All right. So you know that you know. If you want all, you, you know that every square here, you're going to generate another square which is actually bigger than your opening. Right? And here, if you work on I mean, independently, you will also generate a square like this. Okay? So it means actually these two will overlap. Alright? So what is going to happen is that it will form the maximum. One 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 overlap as the final. Okay, so your final etching profile will be like this. The final etching profile will be like this. You will have this four one 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 plan. Okay, circling the maximum corner largest corner at different every direction. This will form 
Jewel for 111. Okay, so it's compared to the previous case, instead of having two small square, and if you have an opening like this, then you can actually come out a big pyramid shape. All right. So, any question, you guys? I know we came kind of late, but we were kind of wondering how to use the cube exactly for orienting. Well, yeah, that's the video. Yeah, that's the video. Oh, that's why we recorded. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs>